Uh, now we're now looking at a clause uh, that Mr. Manley and the Green Party has introduced. Do you wish to speak to it, Mr. Manley? Let's go ahead. Um, so this this uh, clause doesn't uh, change the agreement. What it does is it changes the the way that. Um, the committee reports on the agreement and uh, given the debate that I've heard in the House of Commons about this agreement there's been a lot of discussion about transparency and I've heard from the Conservatives that they want to see economic reports and um, I've heard from the Liberals that in the past they weren't happy with the way that agreements were negotiated because they felt like they were left out and so I think this just adds a level of transparency to uh, reviewing the agreement af after uh, it's been signed and ratified and that uh, we can um, see what the socioeconomic benefits or drawbacks of the agreement are. The clause reads that within two years after the day on which this sec section comes into force and every two years after that, a re review of the socioeconomic impacts of the agreement on Canadians and on the Canadian economy, broken down by industry sector, is to be undertaken by the Committee of the Senate of the House of Commons or both Houses of Parliament that may be designated or established for the purpose of the review. The Committee is to submit a report containing any findings or recommendations that it considers appropriate to the House or Houses of Parliament of which it is a committee. And this will, I think, help Parliament understand as we move forward into the uh, review of the, of the agreement uh, what the impacts of the agreement are, and as we move towards that 16-year uh, renegotiation period, we're going to have a better understanding of what the impacts are for Canadians and Canadian industry. Thank you.